Y'all see the cow whisperer out there? These calves right here are the ones we caught in our last video, if you saw it. Turned into a couple day process, but we got everything caught. They need to be worked, so we're gonna run them through the squeeze chute today, give them some shots, and send them back out. We have spider webs and mud everywhere. We got this group of calves that we weaned. They need working. Back into your please. Most all these have been banded and tagged at birth. They kick girl. They need to be vaccinated, black leg, some of them need retagging, some of them need tagging from the first time because there are a few that did not get tagged at birth. When you hate the face plant in that. Eric's rounding up all the supplies while I do the dirty work. The usual. The spider webs. If you go one day without going in your barn, you can come back. And spider webs are everywhere. It's a never ending battle. A few of them didn't want to come into the barn. So we're gonna work them around the side and shoot them on in the barn. The key to catching the calves is make them think they're not being caught. I'm sending them down to that end, the dead end then they want to come back to where they were usually with a little motivation Into the barn they go. There you go. So step one process of working some calves or cows or whatever in the barn when you haven't used it <coughs> in a week or two this time of year is wasp inspection. They're bad about building a nest. It's pretty bad to get a calf in there and they start getting popped or you go to close it and one of them pops you on the head or on the hand. Not a good way to start your day. So We'll do a quick inspection. Hit them with some spray, and then Eric should be back in a minute, and we'll get these worked. We got our workstation situated. Mainly, the help has arrived. The help in their boots. Somebody make a move. We'll send a few down the lane at a time. Sometimes they'll get turned around. This one here has lost her ear tag. sure uh, 
Yeah. Oop, not a girl. This one's been steered, so we'll tag it, vaccinate it, black leg it, send it on its way. Given Ultraback 7, Vista 5 SQ. The vaccine we give is a modified live virus, so you actually take like a sterile dilutant and you draw it out in the syringe here. And you put it in this other one here that has a powder in it, mixes it up. I believe they're good for what, 24 hours? You're supposed to keep those refrigerated, but once you mix it up, you gotta use it pretty soon. I don't wanna speak too soon, but so far, disposition. These calves, yeah, they have very good disposition. All this one needs is black leg and vaccine. When we're giving two shots, we try to switch it up, do one shot on one side, one shot on the other. Cleanup time. Everything's worked. It's about lunch time. We're going to turn these out, keep them out of this barn. We're going to turn them out to another part of the pasture where they got some good shade, good grass. Give them a couple days. Out of 23, we had six heifers. So, a bunch of steers in that group. Let's see if these will still calmly move around after going through the squeeze chute. 